Here's a quick video walking you through the troubleshooting guide for connection issues with the new 2.0.0 B3 driver for El Capitan 10.11.4 and the SL3 62, 61, 68, and 64. Uh, if you're having any troubleshooting issues after downloading and installing our new driver, then you'll want to follow these instructions. So First, I want to take you to the actual instructions on Rain's website. So if you go to dj.rain.com, click on the support link, click on the El Capitan update link, and then click on the El Capitan troubleshooting guide here link. This is going to take you to the full-on troubleshooting guide. So we're just going to run from top to bottom. Number one, confirm that the OSX version is 10.11.4. This is done by going to the Apple in the upper left hand corner of your computer screen, clicking about this Mac and looking at the version number here. So make sure that's 10.11.4. Once that's done, you want to make sure to close any applications and disconnect any USB devices from your computer. Number three, run the uninstall all script available here. So click on this link to download the uninstall all script. I have it in my downloads folder already. From here, just double click on the uninstall all command and then type in your password. That's the password for your computer, the same one you use when you open up the machine. Once it says process completed, go ahead and get out of that window and uh, open up a finder window and click on your Macintosh HD icon on the left column here. You might also have it sitting on your desktop, but you want to click on Macintosh HD and then click on the system folder, click on the library folder, click on the extensions folder, and scroll down towards the bottom. Locate the Serato Scratch driver.kext file here and go ahead and drag that into the trash. If we go back to the instructions, you'll notice that uh, we just did number four. So remove the Serato Scratch Live kernel extension, which is what we just did. So now we're on step five. Remove any old outdated MIDI files. Go back to your finder window, click on Macintosh HD again. This time click on the system folder, click on the audio folder, click on the MIDI drivers folder, and delete any old outdated drivers you might have in this location. Anything from Pro Tools, Novation, um, eMagic or eLogic, um, anything that's old, take it out of here. And you do that by, you know, you, first you want to drag it to your desktop. It'll create a copy of it. It won't delete it from here. Um, but just so you don't lose it entirely, drag it to your desktop and then come back here and delete it out of this mini drivers folder by holding down the control key, clicking on it, and choosing to move to trash. That will drop it into the trash. So get rid of those files. Obviously, nothing. don't get rid of anything RAIN-related in here. Once that's done, go ahead and restart your computer. Once your computer is back up and running, go ahead and go back to dj.rain.com and look at your instructions again. At this point, we are down to step 7, which is install the RAIN El Capitan device driver version 2.0.0b3. And that's done by uh, clicking on any of these uh, blue uh, download links. I have my 62 driver already in my downloads folder. So double click on the 62 installer to install the driver. And once this driver is installed, go ahead and restart your computer. Once the computer is restarted, you're now ready to open up Serato DJ. Make sure your mixer is not connected prior to opening up Serato DJ. Go ahead and open up Serato DJ, wait for it to load and then plug in your device. And it should connect pretty instantaneously. And that's it. If you're still having issues, I would verify that you do have the correct driver installed on, on your computer. And that is done by once again clicking on the Apple in the upper left hand corner of the computer, clicking about this Mac, clicking the system report, um, clicking on extensions underneath software on the left side here. This takes a little bit to load, so be patient. 
And then once it loads, you want to uh, scroll down and locate your rain device. In this case, it's a 62. Once it loads, scroll down in this list towards the bottom. And you will see the 62.10.9. And the version is going to be here, so 2.0.0b3. If you have a previous version, that means that the driver wasn't installed correctly, so try that again. But that should do it. I haven't talked with anyone who hasn't been able to get this up and running by following these steps specifically. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us here at support.